ever get them! In one bite. And just like that, they're gone. True. You saw this yourself? Oh, no. Me no see. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who met Flyer, who no other leaf eater who saw it. I thought we were telling scary stories. Oh, I know a scary story from the mysterious beyond. Hmm? I was told sharp teeth tell their kids this story to scare them. Something mysterious lurks in the darkest, dark caves of the mysterious beyond. Whoa. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall me. Here's to climb and fellas to Something mysterious lurks in the mysterious beyond. There, in those dark caves, lives a mysterious, spooky creature. They call him the Hidden Runner. Whoa. <sighs> and... And then the Hidden Runner waits till it's night. Dark at night. When you're asleep, he sneaks up to your sleeping place, and before you wake up, he eats you! <gasps> <sighs> so we watch for Hidden Runner? What'd he look like? That's the problem. No one's ever gotten a good look at him. No one? Why not? <sighs> because he's hidden. More than that, sometimes he's invisible! <gasps> What's invisible? It means he can't be seen. If he is invisible, how do you know he is there? Oh, you know. Right before he eats you, they say he lets out a noisy, horrible yell. Ow! 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 He invisible. Maybe he's here right now, but we not know. That's impossible. <gasps> Isn't it? Maybe not. Whenever you think you see something, but nothing's there, maybe whatever was there you didn't see was the hidden runner. That could be him right over your shoulder. <laughs> Look at <laughs> well, just because you know see Invisible Runner not mean Invisible Runner not there. It's just a story, Petrie. Nothing to be scared of. Ah! Ah! Hidden Runner? Little Foot. Little Foot. Sleeping time, little ones. Oh. <laughs> okay, Grandma. <sighs> no time for more scary stories tonight. <laughs> like we were scared by that story. Um, Ruby? Can I stay with you tonight? I'm not scared, but... Here alone. Yep, yep, yep. It is nice under the bright circle. Hmm. That is not what usually happens. No, no, no. Spike? Hmm? Hello?
to? Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> we all had scary sleep stories. Not all of us. Hidden Runner did not come to visit your sleep story? How could he? Three horns don't have sleep stories. Remember, a sleep story about Hidden Runner only happens when you're asleep. And sleep stories can't hurt you in the first place. Maybe sleep stories not hurt you, but Hidden Runner might. Maybe you only see Hidden Runner in sleep stories, but me see Hidden Runner here with own eyes. But you can't see something that doesn't exist, even if it's invisible. Okay, Petrie, then what did this invisible runner look like? Like... like... nothing! Huh. Petrie, I know everything I know about Hidden Runner is a story. I know I even made parts of it up. Just because you make story up not mean story not true. <laughs> true. But you know who knows closer to everything than me? Mr. Thick knows. I bet he knows that nobody knows this is a true story. And now they're having scary sleep stories about Hidden Runner. No! Me see Hidden Runner! For real! So please tell them the story about Hidden Runner is just a story. So... Hidden Runner is back, eh? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hidden Runner back? <gasps> but he can't be back if he was never here, because he's imaginary. Oh, no. Hidden Runner's no story. He's not? He's been around for generations since I was a hatchling, even. You were a hatchling? He goes from place to place, but never stays long enough for anyone to get a good look at him. But sometimes, he comes back. <laughs> Sometime now? Must be, but this time, this time I'm going to see him for myself. Last time, Hidden Runner was spotted at the dark caves on the hill. About a two-day walk. You're going to look for an imaginary creature? Correction. I'm going to look for an invisible creature. I might not get the chance again. When opportunity comes along, you have to take it. Have to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I have to go adventuring while Hidden Runner's back. This is my opportunity to see a thing that's hard to see. It might not come again for me. I have to go. But is it true he cannot be seen? He's really real. to see Hidden Runner with my own eyes. Which is the only way I can see it. Y you tell us Hidden Runner not real. But then, why were you so scared to did? Because me, me. Thing no have to be real to scare me. I want to see if there's really anything to be scared of. If you're going, I'm going. Why? You don't even believe any of it. But it sounds like such a nice, relaxing trip to the woods. You can all come if you like. Just ask your parents before we go.
Now stay on the lookout for his footprints. They will be big. Oh, me afraid he say that. And far apart. And that too? Seeing Hidden Runner is probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What if Hidden Runner eat us? Then it'll definitely be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> you hatchlings worry too much. There's nothing to be scared of in these woods. What about these woods? Just the kind of woods Hidden Runner likes. I once heard Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars themselves. Nobody ever saw for sure. I was just a little older than you kids. Did he just say the Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars? Sarah not have sleep stories. Being scared is for scaredy eggs. I'm tired. It's not like I was having scary sleep stories. Because three... Three horns don't have sleep stories. Well, we don't. <coughs> what was that? Hidden Runner. We're getting close. is 
a mystery. We hope it not come after me. But I would really like to see the Hidden Runner. Kids, just follow me now through the trees. I think we're close. Must we be close? Don't get scared on me now. It's okay. Just try and be brave. I'm always brave. Hidden, hidden runner. The very hidden, hidden runner. To see it, we will have to try. I wonder if it might be shy. I know I won't be frightened by the hidden runner. We no find clues, we no find hidden runner. I found something. <gasps> or maybe not. These branches have been bitten just the way hidden runner bites. And look, footprints. Let's go. Go inside. We won't find Hidden Runner if we don't look for him. It can't be that you're scared, right, Sarah? Hmm. Me scared. Me wait outside. Whoa. Whoa, look. <laughs> okay, okay, me go. Now, where is he? Maybe he's nowhere, because there's no such thing as Hidden Runner. Hidden Runner. What is that? It must be him. All my life, I've wanted to see him up close. And now, almost. Wait! <sighs> I missed him. No one's ever been that close to Hidden Runner. Then that is something, is it not? Hmm. Maybe we can still catch him. Mr. Thicknose, we have to find Sarah first. Uh, uh, <sighs> Sarah! Safe to come out. Hidden runner far away. Me hope. Hmm. Where would Sarah go if she wanted to be somewhere that's not here? I was so close. I'm sorry, Mr. Thicknose. Sarah! Sarah! It's my fault you didn't get to see Hidden Runner. Now you know. I'm a big scaredy egg. I have scary sleep stories and everything. You could have just told us. Then we would have known. We're still your friends. But the Rehorns are supposed to be brave. Being afraid doesn't mean you can't be brave, too. It doesn't? True bravery is to admit you're afraid and face your fear anyway, like your friends. Even after they admitted being afraid, they still came to find Hidden Runner. Then they're braver than I am. I just took one look at Hidden Runner's shadow and ran... <gasps> Whoa! He's really real. And I'm looking right at him. <gasps> I can't believe it. A story I made up wasn't a made-up story. Look at him. He has many different colors. I can't believe I almost let fear keep me from seeing this. Me not believe me not flying away. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Sarah. <gasps> he disappeared. He doesn't disappear. He blends in. Look, he's still there. But his funny colored body acts as some sort of disguise. Hidden Runner, not invisible. He only looked that way. Uh, maybe whoever first made up my story saw him disappear, but didn't understand how he disappeared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for taking us to see Hidden Runner, Mr. Thicknose. I could never have imagined something like that. I thought I did imagine it. It did not look at all like what I imagined in my sleep story. No, no, no. I'm just glad we all got to see it. <laughs> and to think, the hidden runner was more scared of us than we were of it. <laughs> That's right. It's not anything you kids need to be scared of. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something for Petrie to be scared of. No, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of trouble the last time he was here. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't bring any bad luck with him this time. Good game, guys! Yeah, next time Spike's on our team. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> guys! Guys! <laughs> Who's coming back? Where have you guys been? Doc's coming back. Doc? Huh? You mean the lone dinosaur? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall. Ago. Everyone thought the Great Valley's good luck had run out because Saurus Rock had been damaged. I tried to bring our luck back by taking a tooth from a dead sharp tooth. The only problem was the sharp tooth wasn't dead. tried to save me. But he had to fight two sharp teeth. That's when Doc showed up. anyone again. Thanks to Grandpa and Doc, the Lone Dinosaur. How exciting! Now I know why everyone's so excited. So where did the Lone Dinosaur go? Where's he been? He never stay in one place very long. And he is always alone. He is, he is. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Lone Dinosaur. But wherever there's trouble with sharp teeth, he'll be there. You said trouble, right? Yep, he always seems to know when sharp teeth are coming here. Uh, you don't think. Don't 
Don't worry, Chomper. I think he'd understand about you. I don't know. Mm. How is Doc supposed to know Chomper's different? I'll tell him. Doc doesn't seem like the kind of long neck who likes to be told. He's after me, isn't he? Of course not. Could be. He'd never pick on a kid. But he'd always pick on a sharp tooth. Whatever's going to happen won't happen until it does. So let's all just get a good night's sleep so we're all well rested. Okay. You're right, Ruby. Good night, everyone. Good, good night, night, everybody. Don't worry, it'll be okay. If Doc's as good as they think, I'm sure he'll think you're good too. Huh? <sighs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Don't worry, it'll be okay. scary, Chomper, but it was a sleep story, and now you're awake, so you shouldn't worry. Unless you fall asleep again. Or unless he's really coming after me. <gasps> Hi, everybody. Chomper had a scary sleep story that the lone dinosaur was coming to get him. So did I. Really? Was he trying to crush you with his tail? Um, no. He was trying to crush you. <gasps> huh? He's coming! He's coming for me! <gasps> Could be. No, he's not, Sarah. He only come for sharp teeth in past. See? So what do you want to do? Try to hide Chomper until Doc's gone? That's a great idea! Then that's what we should do. Okay, I'll try to distract Doc while you guys hide Chomper. So Doc's big enough that I'd see him coming, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> he is very, very big. Strong and silent across the valley floor, and everybody calls him the Lone Dinosaur. Dinosaur! His tail beat fast as lightning. Dinosaur! His heart is brave and pure. Dinosaur! He sounds like he is frightening. You don't want to mess with him for sure. Kid, how have you been? Gr 
great! Watch, I've learned to whip my tail just like you! You, uh, might want to work on that a little more. I will! Maybe you can teach me more tricks while you're back! Sure, kid. By the way, have you seen a long neck named Dara around? No. Who's Dara? Well, uh, she's my lady friend. Huh? Lady friend? Yep. She's the prettiest long neck these tired eyes have ever seen. I remember the first time I saw her. Her big blue eyes sparkled brighter than the big water itself. She understands my need to roam and has been my traveling partner for a while now. A lonely long neck couldn't ask for much more. But how can you have a partner? You're supposed to be out there alone. Well, I was for a long time. Right, and that's why you were able to keep an eye out for any sharp teeth causing trouble. Just the same, kid. You care to help me find Dara? She's a stranger to these here parts. Let's hope she hasn't run into any trouble. <laughs> but Doc, if you're busy spending time with Dara, how are you going to have time to protect all the other leaf eaters? <laughs> she said she'd meet me here. You can't be the lone dinosaur if you're not alone anymore. Still no sign of Dara. Best we keep looking. What are they doing? Uh, me think they're looking for something. He's coming for me. Aha, uh -huh. I was right all along. Ah! <gasps> they coming this way. He's going to find me. Littlefoot will not let Doc hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Littlefoot's probably too little to stop Doc. Right. That's why we better find a place to hide Jumper. I really don't think she's here. Maybe she decided not to come. Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. So unless there's a problem, that's just what she'll do. He's even bigger than he was in my scary sleep story. And that's why we have to hide you. Now, where would Doc not think to look for a small little sharp tooth? <gasps> Quick, everyone gather around Chomper and we'll all move together. Okay, everyone be very quiet. Chomper's life is depending on it. Enough of those. Let's keep looking. He keeps coming. He's gonna get me. We need another hiding place. <laughs> Me think me have one. Not now, I'm thinking. But me really think me no good hiding place. Okay, what is it? Will 
we all fit? Oh, good thing me family not home today. Your good idea was really a good idea, Petrie. It was. It was. <laughs> Phew! I can finally calm down. We'll see. This way up high. Doc not find us here. Not find who where. Ah! Ah! You found me. You are supposed to keep Doc away. I know, but you promised. I'm sorry, Chomper, but it's going to be okay. Doc's not looking for you. He's looking for his lady friend, Dara. Right, Doc? <sighs> Doc? I can't believe you're friends with a sharp tooth. What do you mean? I mean, there's no use being friends with him. You're just gonna have to fight him someday. No, I'm not. Chomper's my friend and always will be. Yeah, and I'll never fight my friends. Yeah, Need trick teaching him to talk. Oh, he learned it all on his own. See? He is different. He is, he is. <sighs> Maybe I can even use my snuffer to help you find your friend. Hmm. That'll be the day. What will? The day I ever accept help from a sharp tooth. But I'm telling you, Chomper's different. I ain't never had a good experience with a sharp tooth, and I don't reckon I'll start having one now. Let's go, little foot. No. <laughs> I'm not helping you anymore. Have it your way, kid. You know, I still think I could use my sniffer to help. That would show, Doc. Me want to help? Oh, me too. <laughs> what do you say, little foot? Just because you won't help Doc doesn't mean you shouldn't help Dara. You're right, Ruby. Come on, Chomper. Let's go find Dara. Chomper, you can, you can. Ugh, not with the nose full of mud. <coughs> this swamp is full of sneaky mud spots. I hope Doc's friend is okay. Me too. Then come on, we gotta find her. The smell's stronger this way. <laughs> She's got to be here somewhere. But we've looked everywhere. Oh, no! Look! Ugh. Ugh. Help! Please! Ugh. Little ones, please. You must find my friend Doc to help me get out. Dara! You know me? But how? Ugh. We'll never find Doc in time. We have to get you out of there now. But Dara too big. How we help her? Uh, there. We can use that tree to pull her out. All we have to do is bend it down to her. Great idea. We're coming, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's bending! Ugh. Here I come! Wow, 
Why, you're a little sharp tooth. I it's true, but I just want to help. Try to grab the tree so we can get you out. A cute, helpful sharp tooth. Why, as I live and breathe. Why, he risked his little life to save me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. What for? I was the one who was wrong, kid. You are different. I hope you can find it in you to give an old long neck another chance. Well, sure. Thanks, Doc. Doc, why were you and Dara coming to the Great Valley? Well, I don't really have any kin of my own, so I wanted Dara to meet Littlefoot and his grandma and grandpa. Which reminds me, where is Littlefoot? Over there. Excuse me. You feel like talking? Sure. I'm sorry I said all those things before. It was disrespectful. It was the right thing to do, kid. Huh? No one's ever really told me when I was wrong before, Littlefoot. Do you promise to keep doing it? Um, sure, Doc. Then we're good. Let's join the rest and I'll show you how to really do that tail whip. You taught me your friend, the sharp tooth's new friend. And I'm so glad that we can be friends. I feel so happy, I want everyone to see. It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me. I feel so happy, I want everyone to see. It's like the bright circle is shining. You are 
a flyer and I am a swimmer. Together, we can fly and swim. No, <laughs> me not so sure. <laughs> Water. It is very refreshing. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> refreshing for swimmer, maybe. <laughs> Spike? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall. Something down there, something scary. Scary? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Spike? Spike! 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 I do not think Spike heard me because I do not hear Spike. And me not see him either. Ugh. Careful, Petrie. You don't want to fall in too. Fall? Oh, oh. Oh, how is Spike going to get out? I don't know. He's not much of a climber. We're gonna need help. Help is good, but I do not want to leave Spike alone. No, no, no. Then we'll go and you stay. Okay, but please hurry. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
time. Spike fall into hole. So? It's too deep for him to climb out. Oh dear. If I were Spike and I fell into a hole, I wouldn't want to be Spike. Can't he just dig his way out? Oh, he'd need a big head to dig like that. <laughs> well, at least my head isn't small. Yes, but if your head was on Spike, he wouldn't be Spike. And you wouldn't be you. I'm afraid I must concur with Ruby on this issue. Spike does not possess the strong, flat prow of a three-horn, nor the long neck of... Well, a long neck. So how is Spike gonna get out? Do you think you could help us rescue Spike, Mr. Thicknose? Why, certainly. Just lead the way. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Speaking of it, you're it! <laughs> What is he doing here? And why is he eating my bed? <laughs> why don't you ask him and find out? I'm not asking him. You ask him. No way. You ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I am Milo, and these are my friends, Lydia and Plower. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, um, what brings you to our world? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not supposed to. Huh? Huh? Maybe this stranger who fell from the mysterious above is... the Big Wise One. The Big Wise One? No, he's not. Think about where he came from. Mysterious above. Oh, please. The strange white world we've never been to. Legend says our dreams will come true with the big wise one. Huh. Above the mysterious above. Where our visitor has come from. Do you really think I'm so dumb to think that he's the one? His kindly smile, his giant size. The big wise one is here. Just look into his thoughtful eyes. Your doubts will disappear. Above, above the mysterious above. The mysterious above. How we've looked forward to this day. Oh, oh big wise one, one, show us the way. So we may share your love from the mysterious above. Mr. Thicknell is going to help Spike out of a hole. He is? Well, good luck then. <laughs> Spike will need it. <laughs> I don't find anything funny about a young Spike tail in trouble. <sighs> oh. Come on, Sarah. I better show them how to save Spike. For you, big wise one. 
Oh, big wise one, I must know. Why is it that sometimes the ground shakes and shivers? <coughs> It is you who makes the ground shake. Oh, oh, thank you, big wise one. Oh, big wise one. When will I be ready to leave my parents' nest and forage on my own? Spike's tummy sounds. Don't worry, Ducky. I'm sure I can think of a way to save Spike. Oh, thinking won't save Spike, but strength will. Now, Mr. Threehorn, in my experience, things like this require careful consideration. Consideration? Oh, bah! Let's just start digging. But if you dig in the wrong place, we might all end up down there. Are you suggesting that I would dig in the wrong place? Yes. You've got to think. Wrong place? That's right. I don't know any hole that's been dug by thinking. You've got to think. You've got to use strength. No, you've got to think. Strength. Think. Strength. Think. Strength. No. Think. Me not understand. Strength. Think. They helping Strength. Spike now think. or not? Strength. Think. Doesn't sound Strength. like the sound think. of Spike Strength. getting out to think. me. Strength. Think. So how is Spike going to get out of that hole? Oh, I do not know, but I do hope he is all right. I don't think we should wake him. Oh, what choice do we have? Oh, big wise one. Big wise one? He's saving his strength. Maybe, yeah, but the time has come to use that strength. <laughs> oh, the wise one. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, big wise one. We are sorry for the rude awakening, but it is time. <sighs> time to vanquish the great hideous beast. <clears throat> the great hideous beast runs on two legs like a fast spider. Has the helmet of a three horn. And the big scary eyes of a night walker. Thank you for coming from the mysterious above to save us, big wise one. It's all up to you. <laughs> Bye.
really are the big wise one. If the ground was soft enough to swallow Spike, We'll need to use rocks to stabilize. No time for that. We need to dig. I don't think it's that simple. Ha! <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And you're being stubborn. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd just do things my way. <laughs> Her way, yes. We'll get him out my way. My way. We'll do it my way. No, my way, my way, we'll do it my way. There can be no doubt that I can get Spike out my way, my way. If you'd listen to me, he'd already be free. My way, my way. You can't expect me to believe that your idea could really succeed. My way. My way. We'll do it my way. I say my way. No, my way. We'll, we'll do, do it my way. My, my, my way. way. Did they agree on an idea yet? Me not know. Me too dizzy. Then we'll just have to agree to agree on an idea ourselves. Right. About the sticky vines. They are very long. Yep, yep, yep. Not long enough to get all the way down the hole. But they can be even longer by curling one vine with another vine with another vine. Long enough to reach Spike? Spike can just curl the vines around his middle. Then we pull up the vines, and the vines pull up Spike. That's the best idea we've heard all day. Being the big wise one must make you very hungry. <laughs> so we've brought you all the food from our colony. <laughs> You're not getting any this time. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> the wise one from above wishes to go back to the mysterious above. from the great hideous beast. It is right that you return to the mysterious above and protect others. Oh. <laughs> hey, where did the great hideous beast go? Spike? No, no, no. I thought he felt lighter. If Spike's not here, then where... Oh, excuse you, Spike. <gasps> Spike? Spike! You back! Yay! Spike! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! It doesn't 
matter who that was who was here. What matters is that Spike is the who that is here. And for that, I am glad. Mm. Very glad. If you'd just listen to me. Why should I? My way's better. But Mr. Thicknose and Mr. Threehorn. Spike's already been saved it. <laughs> well, um, uh, how nice. He would have been rescued earlier if you hadn't argued with me. You're the one who started arguing. I did not. Oh, yes, you did. I did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did so. 